Now let's get back to Joe Biden's VP pick. The last time was just a tease. Kamala Harris is the pick. Susan, turns out that Kamala Harris could be good for those big tech names over in Silicon Valley. Well, the California senator has strong Silicon Valley ties with supporters that include Sheryl Sandberg, Salesforce's Mark Benioff, Apple's Johnny Ive, and Lorene Powell Jobs. Also throw in Airbnb's Brian Chesky. And these are some of the tech titans that have donated or hosted events for Harris over the past few years. Now, Kamala may not be calling for the breakup of big tech like Sanders or Elizabeth Warren, but she hasn't always sided with big tech on all issues. For instance, we talked about Uber and Lyft earlier fighting that gig economy legislation that would reclassify workers as employees. Well, Kamala actually backs that bill, and she always wants more safeguards around user privacy and said just last year during a town hall that social media is a utility that has long gone unregulated. Now, despite that, Harris is seen as a strong fundraiser with access to deep-pocketed tech billionaires among some, and the Biden-Harris campaign said that they raised $26 million dollars just in the past 24 hours since Harris's VP announcement and a reason why Wall Street didn't react negatively to this choice since she's seen as more moderate at least when it comes to corporate policy than say the progressives like Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. Mm, all right Susan thank you very much.